Welcome to IPC 2025. I'm Kin San Lu, CEO of CCAM. I'm going to present you the CCAM lineup. So we have this uh, well-known CCAM E2 series. Um, we, in this E2 series, we do have a few models. The E2 M4, the E2 S6, and also the E2 F6. Um, of, of course, we also have the E2 F8, which is not here. So F stands for full frame. 6 stands for 6K. Likewise, the S6, the S stands for Super 35, so that is related to the sensor size, and 6 is related to the maximum resolution, which is 6K in this case. And uh, our very popular Ccam E2 M4, M stands for the MFT lens mount, and uh, 4 stands for the maximum resolution, which is uh, 4K. And we actually introduced uh, the E2 series back in um, 2018. After that, uh, we have been continuing this uh, series for uh, several years. Um, earlier this year, we have upgraded the entire lineup to what we call the Ccam E2, the Mark II series. And the Mark II series, of course, we add some very important uh, features based on our customers' requests. And we believe with the Mark II series, you know, the entire E2, you know, is re-energized. Well, as you can see, our cameras, you know, um, form factor is very important, particularly when you want to rig your own camera rig. And this form factor, we believe, you know, it is um, because they are SOC based. So it's very, um, very good performing um, in part in terms of uh, power consumption. Uh, but in this small form factor, we, we do have a lot of uh, rigging points. We have some uh, pinholes for you to put it on a cage. You can actually put on the, your preferred monitor. And in the Mark II series, you know, we have also changed from the original MPF battery. Now we support mini V-mount. Um, but most important in the camera's lineup is color science. We develop our own color science. Um, we are very confident that the image quality is up to the uh, highest level, as you have probably seen some of the latest Hollywood productions. Um, the our full film 6K version, the image holds up very well, even on IMAX screen. So, color science is the most basic thing that we want to focus. But apart from that, the dynamic range. I mean, people ask a lot, a lot of the time, you know, how good is the dynamic range? I must say that the full film 6K version, um, the 15 stop dynamic range is really the, the best in, in, in our lineup. Um, but on the E2 M4, although this is a 4K sensor, the low light capability on the, this sensor is extremely good. Um, coupled with the high frame rate capability, this camera can do 4K up to 160 frames per second. So this is used in a lot of productions uh, whenever they want slow motion. Um, that's the preferred choice. And apart from the form factor itself, um, it's also very lightweight. And also because of the lightweight capability. So these cameras are used in a lot of uh, documentaries, uh, car chasing scene is easy to break up because it's very easy to also balance on the, on gimbal heads. Um, so I must say that uh, the Ccam E2 series is actually one of the most uh, versatile um, camera in the camera world. When, uh, when we first launched the E2 series, uh, we constantly hear customer feedback and uh, we realize and we acknowledge the fact that, you know, some of the key features were missing. And uh, we did listen to our customers and in the latest Mark II lineup, we actually um, added SDI uh, because originally there was only the HDMI port. Now we add the 3G SDI, which is uh, a, a lot more user friendly, and uh, this is a, a very popular standard in the industry. And we have also added uh, GenLock, so that you can start, you can synchronize the camera through GenLock with other devices. We have also changed the media from the original CFast 
into CF Express Type B. And because right now the uh, the CF Express Type B, the uh, the price has come down. It's more popular. People can use it uh, uh, from another camera. They they can switch to C cam much more easier. Um, when it comes to the power, there are two things very important. All the Mark II series can now support PoE Plus, meaning that through a single Ethernet cable, you can power the camera, you can control and live stream. And so the C cam is actually right now a very popular model in the live stream um, space. Um, apart from PoE Plus, we have also made one important change. So instead of the MPF battery plate, we've changed it to mini V-mount. As you can see today, the, uh, there's this mini V-mount battery, very popular in the industry. And uh, depending on the size, um, it can hold up, you know, it can, it can run for almost the, the whole day. So um, I think the mini V-mount is actually very compatible um, with our E2 Mark II series. So with these few additions, we feel like that um, the E2 has actually gone up um, a level. And hopefully this will satisfy most, if not all, the needs from the market. The full film 6K, um, the F6 model has the best dynamic range and uh, beautiful color. You know, on IMAX screen, you've seen it on Hollywood movies. This is great. But when it comes to popularity, you know, I, I must say that um, our original E2 M4 and now the E2 M4 Mark II, this camera, the, the sensor, we can support up to 4K 160, high frame rate. And um, the low light capability is also very, very good. I, I don't think any other 4K um, MFT camera would have uh, this cap capability. Um, and for some of you, you might have heard that uh, this camera is actually used today in the English Premier League. In all this, um, after the go, the slow motion replay, they're all captured by the Seacam E2 M4, the Mark II. Um, a lot of um, high frame rate action scenes. Uh, this is, you know, the, uh, the go-to camera in, in, in the market. And um, apart from the cinema and the video production, the E2 M4 is actually deployed in many, many amazing um, applications, not limited to volumetric capture, 3D scan, and those advanced and sophisticated applications. So you wouldn't be surprised if you run into, you know, a big, big studio and you will see hundreds of the Seacam E2 M4. They are the most popular in our current lineup. Um, I talk about how we use the E2 M4 for the English Premier League in the slow motion uh, replay. Um, actually, this new accessory, what we call the Seacam EC Play, um, this one serves as a, um, not just as a remote video recording device, but uh, there's a dedicated SDI. When this is connected uh, directly or indirectly to the Seacam E2 M4, we can record the slow motion in, on this device. And then you can use different methodology to control and do the playback through the dedicated SDI. So that means there are two SDI going to the main broadcast. One SDI from the camera, which gives the, the live feed, and the other SDI, which, which is only dedicated to the slow motion playback. So together, this combo, I would say, the E2 M4 with the Seacam EC Play, this is the most affordable camera combo that allows a dual SDI output for slow motion playback and live broadcast. That's actually a very good question. You know, we uh, get asked uh, many times about what lens mount does it support. We actually support quite a number of uh, different uh, lens mounts uh, because the, of the design of our camera. They are all used, the, the lens mount itself, they are all user interchangeable. Um, I'll give you an example. So the E2 M4, um, as M stands for MFT, so it comes with an MFT lens mount. And the, our S6 and F6, they both come with a, a default EF mount. But there's an, you can actually buy the optional C cam lens mount. Uh, we support, we have the, the Leica M mount, the uh, PL mount, the LPL mount, 
and there's also a third party which supplies the uh, the E mount for C cam. So there are only four screws here. Um, I think it's a very affordable, and people can just buy the optional lens mount and then change it by by themselves. And when it comes to the EF mount and also the PL mount, there's actually also a slot for electronic ND, uh, which is very handy, uh, very, very important feature, you know, sometimes particularly when they want to shoot uh, outdoor. Um, so all in all, I think uh, we, have, we have been trying to make the, uh, our lineup, you know, very flexible, cater for different uh, um, uh, lens choices, um, and the users can do it by themselves, and uh, it's very easy to, um, to, 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 to tune up. We don't support uh, too many kinds of codecs, but we do support the most uh, popular ones. Um, all this, uh, all our CCAM E2 and also, of course, the, the Mark II series, we support H.264, uh, H.265, but most importantly is, of course, we support uh, ProRes. ProRes is a very edit-friendly uh, codec, um, and we can actually record ProRes in camera, you know, from the very beginning. So the entire E2 series, um, is very uh, progress friendly, um, but you must have heard the latest announcement of uh, from Apple about you know uh, Apple progress raw. Um, all our camera uh, through HDMI, you can record H um, progress raw on the external monitor. So with progress raw and also the latest development of uh, the NLE support, I think progress raw is probably the best. Um, codec, you know, for those who want to shoot raw, because it's true raw and it's also edit friendly, uh, like the rest. So it's the the best of both worlds. Um, for those who don't who, who who don't want to record internally, but then they they can prefer to connect to an external monitor, then progress raw is a very very good format for them to go. The whole E2 Mark II series is now available in the market. Um, the E2 M4 Mark II is um, retail price at around 2,000 US dollar. The Super 35, the S6 model is around 2,500 US dollar. And our full frame 6K, the F6 Mark II is around 3,500 US, uh, 3, US dollar.